The meeting room's approach has shifted significantly in the last 18 months. We've had to look at what technologies can be used to make the remote employees feel more included in the meeting and vice versa, make the people that are physically present more connected to the people that are remote. Right now, if you're an IT professional or a facilities coordinator for, uh, for a company, there's a huge uplift that you're looking at in terms of what do you have to figure out to give your CEO and your employees the kind of experiences they're asking for. That's what we're trying to help with here. So we're literally real-time developing standards for things that we would like to roll out quicker than our normal life cycle or refresh cycle so that we can get those kind of better hybrid experiences and better meeting experiences in the hands of our employees and guests and customers much faster. And so those standards really form the sort of quality guarantee that if we build the rooms this way, it's gonna be a great experience. We wanna make sure that all the work that we do internally is something that our customers can benefit from. So this is a medium conference room at Microsoft. There's about 2,500 conference rooms that look roughly like this around the world. About a year and a half ago, we cleared everything out of this room. We took out a big table, we took out all of the AV, the projector that was on this wall here. And we said, let's redesign this room from the ground up uh, for a hybrid experience. We thought about what do we want to do? We want to create an environment that is halfway between the physical and the virtual. This is the, the room in which we created this front row experience that brings people that are meeting remotely right into the same circle as the people that are in the room. So we started off by hacking together a table. This was certainly not the table that we put in here. It was cardboard cutouts and temporary tables and just, we formed an arc and then we put the camera right in the center. So the camera, this wide angle, 180 degree camera, can see all the folks in the room and they can see their faces. And so we put this screen on the wall and we invited our research and development teams in. And they actually just started painting the interface that they wanted to see. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the elements that we put into the room to make this experience pop. Yeah, so first of all, you can see this is a very wide screen uh, projector. This is a 21 by nine aspect ratio. And what that gives us is a nice wide uh, surface area to show all the remote attendees in the room. And you're seeing them at eye level and about human size. So they're true life size folks that, that you're seeing. Additionally, we now have space to put the, uh, the content above and full front and center content. And you're seeing things like chat and raised hands and other items on the screen. So this is a really nice, natural environment for a group of six or seven people to meet with a group of online people, and the interactions here can be very natural. So one of the most difficult parts of putting a room together is stringing all the wires and the cables and hanging all the AV in the room. Uh, and with this room, we actually have a really, really simple design that makes a lot of that just go away. Uh, we took all of the components in the room the audio, the video, the projection, the compute, the networking, and we enclosed it all here in this one enclosure. We worked with an industrial design firm to actually design this in such a way that it all fits, it's locked away, it's pretty stable on the floor. It can be dropped into a room like this, plugged in, you've got your canvas on the wall for the projection surface, and you're done. So this really simplifies the process of deploying a room, which is a big part of the cost. So this is a small conference room, and we have about 4,000 of these worldwide at Microsoft. They all look kind of the same. You've got a screen on the far wall, table in the center, six or seven seats around the table, and everyone's facing each other. We do meetings like this all the time, but if you're not in this room, it's not a great experience for you. So we asked ourselves, what can we do to make a better hybrid experience in this kind of room? This room is the exact same size, but we've changed the hardware, and the furniture to make for a better hybrid experience. Let me show you. So we took the, the table and moved it against the wall and changed the shape so that the people in the room are seated around it facing the remote attendees. It's like one big circle of remote and in-person people. Content is on the wall, bright, front and center, and much wider. 
uh, the camera can see everyone sitting around the table. So you've got that same great hybrid experience. But we also realized that we have about half the room left over. So what do we do there? We brought in this extra table. So now from six or seven people, you now have 10 seats in the room. And the people sitting back here, they can be seen by the camera just as well as the people around the table because they're higher up and they can be seen over the heads of the folks that are at the table. Now, if I just wanna come in here and have a brainstorming session with a few folks, I don't have to sit down even. We've got the table here, I can put my laptop down and we can do a whiteboarding session right here. And I can even bring in a, a remote attendee and they can contribute to the whiteboard from wherever they're at as well. And so it's a super versatile room. And the best part of this is because we didn't change anything with the construction, the lighting, the electrical, we've been able to achieve a lot of really great hybrid improvements for a lot less money than a full remodel. This room represents the kind of hybrid experience that we can deploy at scale around the world. As we work across all our rooms to make them better for hybrid, it's really Teams that gives us the platform that allows us to be flexible, to deploy the right experiences with the right equipment for each audience and each space, and creates a simple, consistent, and reliable experience for those people that choose to return to the workplace, as well as those who are still remote. Our software is constantly evolving. Our products are constantly getting better. It's an evolving, changing set of experiences that we're constantly improving. As we learn more about what employees want from hybrid work, these rooms are everywhere. And what we can bring to a room is a variety of scenarios that make the room more useful, better for remote attendees, and an all around better experience for everyone.